Thank you for having me. What a brilliant event, right? Even as we're becoming more digital, digital technologies themselves are actually starting to become more human-like, engineering our needs in the core of how they're built. You've even got people called distraction theorists, I kid you not, whose job it is to work with behavioral experts and neuroscience experts to figure out how we maintain our sanity in all this on and offline noise. You've got to start thinking about predicting and preempting consumer desire rather than just fulfilling it. But this is great news, because some of the stuff I'll show you today will help do that. We need to, as organizations, both for our workforce as well as for our end consumer, we need to use tech creatively to get the reaction we want. Will we get to a stage where the algorithm will overtake the intelligence of its human creator? I don't think we're there yet, and I'm quite a positive, optimistic futurist, so I don't think that's where we're headed. It's right from hyper-personalized medicine, right, that works with your genetic code to deliver treatment personalized to you, to some of the AI I'll show you that actually creates an experience for each of us that's completely unique to you and I. So you and you and you will not have the same experience of that customer service transaction. The 80% of your company's data that's completely difficult to extract, that's difficult to access, undigitized, is something that's often missed by even traditional automation software. So what this would do is learn from how you work, structure the unstructured content, make sense of it for you, and most importantly, find correlations between that information that we might not spot. With all of this, the next wave is mixed reality, which will use completely different combinations of this to create brand experiences, both for you guys, in terms of what you should expect as consumers from retailers that are targeting you, but also drives tremendous business value. But all of this is still just visual and auditory. What it's missing is the sense of touch until now. What's being developed as we speak is recreating the sense of feeling in a digital world. Let's talk very quickly about digital identity. As it stands today, this needs to be everyone's concern. This is not just an IT challenge or for the CTO. You need to move from what we call first-generation biometrics, something you know or something you have, a card reader from your bank or a username and password, to biological security. And what you're doing right now with Face ID or your fingerprint is the light touch version of that. It's just the start. I constantly get asked, all of this is fantastic. What are some of the jobs of the future? How am I going to stay relevant and future-proof? An ethicist, very important, right? Someone who thinks about things like the legal entity and rights of robots or algorithms or indeed a couple of other controversial advances. And I think we will need a new type of CTO a chief trust officer who is responsible for establishing that connection between stakeholders to build trust in organizations and governments and be that interface. Ultimately, though, in all of this, we want to get to a future that just works, right? We want it to be inclusive. We want it to work for ourselves and the next generation and our legacies, where what technology does is fulfills what I call the three Cs. Is it a catalyst? Is it a connector? Is it a conduit? Can it actually go the distance? And I think you guys have everything to play for. We're so well placed today. I'm so excited about where we're going. Thank you so much for listening.